as we understand how to read data from text files as rdd now let us explore further about how we can actually read other formats of files uh, in spark so to read data from text files we have api called text file as part of spark context and also there are few other api such as sequence file object file etc to read some special type of files but there are certain industry standard file formats such as wasc json parquet avro etc and spark context doesn't have any apis to read um, files of those formats directly rather they, uh, when we actually launch uh, spark shell on top of sc which is nothing but of type spark context there is another variable which is created which is nothing but sql context and sql context have certain apis to read these uh, industry standard file formats okay and um, the apis are either sql context dot load and if you hit tab on load there are several overridden methods um, which takes uh, uh, path as string and convert into data frame uh, and also on top of path there is another method which takes uh, there is another argument in another method which takes the file format as second argument if you use path and also pass this uh, uh, file format as second argument you can read the files of those formats out of the box it supports oc json and parquet for avro you have to plug in uh, external dependencies and you can even uh, read avro file formats okay on top of load which for which we need to pass two arguments one is path and the other is file format there is another api called read read is a kind of a package and it has several methods in that um, where you can actually read different file formats directly using methods such as json uh, text table parquet wasc etc so depending upon whatever uh, file format you want to read you can use uh, appropriate uh, api and you can read the files directly so if you look at json now and if you look at the syntax it takes either rdd which is of type json or it can also take path um, of, of the files from which we want to read the data so if you look at both load and read if you focus on the written type written type is nothing but data frame it is not rdd so when you use sql context you are dealing with data frames not rdd so here you need to understand the difference between rdd which is resilient distributed data set and data frame so the difference is rdd is just a distributed collection whereas data frame is a distributed collection plus structure on top of it okay and uh, uh, for text file we can use delimiters and read the data for all other file formats we need to have structure defined that's why all these uh, apis to read different file formats are part of sql context and we actually deal with data frames uh, instead of rdd okay that being said let me show you how to set up uh, sample data so that you can actually read json for this for understanding uh, uh, how to read th these different file formats i'll be covering only json for now at a later point in time when we actually talk about spark sql data frames etc we will actually explore other file formats also for now let's focus on json if you want to set up the data set you can go to my github account github.com slash dgadiraju Class data. You might have set up uh, data sets earlier, um, and uh, you have seen all these uh, directories such as card selection results, etc., LCA, NYSE, retail DB, retail DB JSON, etc. For retail DB, retail DB JSON is the one which I have added recently. So if you do not have the data set up for you already, you just uh, try to download it again and uh, get this JSON data also. Okay, you can you 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 unzip to whatever location you want, and then you can do whatever you want to have 
this data as part of HDSS so that we can actually process that part of our program. On the lab, here I am opening another session. I have set up data already in local file system, which is ls-ltr data retail underscore db underscore json. You have all these directories similar to retail db, but the data is of json format. In Hadoop, it is under public retail underscore db underscore json, and you can actually see orders and you can see the files here okay and also you can actually say Hadoop fs hyphen tail and give this path to preview the data you can see that each line is in json format you have column name and value for each of the four columns in orders, which are order ID, order date, order customer ID, and order status. Now, if I go back to the other session, here I can view that path slash public retail underscore db underscore json slash orders. Okay. And let me assign it to a variable here. val orders df equal to sql context dot read dot json and give the path as data is in json format it will be able to uh, fetch the data it will have a metadata of our data and we will be able to access it without any issues so here i can say orders df dot show show is the command which will preview the data you can see the fields order customer id order date order id order status when you uh, create uh, or when you read the JSON and create a data frame uh, with it, typically the column names will be sorted in um, ascending, ascending the order of, of by uh, by their names. Okay, so there are other APIs also on data frame uh, such as uh, orders ds dot print schema, which will give us column names in that and uh, also we can actually say order df dot select if you want to select uh, only order id and uh, order date from these four fields you can select those things by using api such as select and you will see only those two fields um, after that okay so this is how you can actually create data frame uh, using uh, SQL context dot read dot JSON. SQL context also have another API called load. Load takes two arguments. One is slash user, sorry, and the path which is nothing but public retail underscore DB underscore JSON slash orders. And the second argument is type. So JSON, Parkway, ORC, all of them are supported out of the box from the cluster. If you want to use the Avro, you have to uh, you have to add a plugin uh, from Databricks so that you can actually read Avro file format also. So SQL context dot read dot JSON is nothing but handy method for SQL context dot load, which will take two arguments. Okay, that's the only difference. Otherwise, both are same. Now I can say dot show to just preview the data from this data frame. So this is how you can use SQL context to read data of industry standard file formats such as ORC, Parkway, JSON. Again, we will see these things in detail when we actually talk about SQL context, uh, sorry, Spark SQL and data frames a bit later.